What's up YouTube, Clueless Bushcraft here. Uh, today, I'm finally committing to actually building this shed. I got all of the wood, or most of the wood that I need. Um, and then uh, I've already cleared up most of this area right here. And I actually built up a, sort of like a, a fence with the cypress that I have. Uh, just to kind of keep Raven in our property. Uh, because I want her out here just to hang out while I'm doing my work um, So she's not just stuck inside um, When she's outside though uh, She tends to like chase like rabbits and like run towards a lot of people and stuff So I want us to keep her contained in here But let me show you guys what I'm planning on doing This is just to set up to kind of have an idea of where I want to put my shed um I think it's a pretty good place uh, because our property line is just like right about there and so I can just keep this here in the corner. I originally wanted to put it actually right here but I decided to keep it in the corner here so um, so that way later on I can build like a, another lean-to thing right here and it'll be a big open spot right here. So there will be a shelter here, but this is going to be the main shed. So today's project is actually going to be uh, digging up all the dirt here, leveling it out. And then I've got, I've got um, a bunch of river pebbles. They're rocks or something. I'm going to take that and dump it on, level everything out. This right here is 5x5x8. Five by five by uh, pressure treated wood. So this is gonna be like my foundation I'm gonna have like these eight inch screws that go in. I have to cut these down to length um, Or like two of them to length at least and then uh, all of this is just gonna be my framing so I'm gonna build the Floor on top of this and then I'm gonna build the walls on top of the floor. I'm gonna also I'm going to also use uh, rebar and I'm going to secure the base down. So I'm going to drill through the 5 inch posts here and then secure them down with rebar. So I've been trying to implement this sort of like mentality called commit first and think about the details later. It actually comes from a book called uh, The 10X Rule uh, by Grant Cardone. Um, I've been reading that book, listening to the audio book and everything. It's more business based. Um, but a lot of the, the, the things that he talked about in the book can apply to just everyday life. And so one of the main things that kind of caught my attention was commit first and think about the details later. And so like, I don't want to get caught up in all of the details and and how to do things. I feel like it's better to actually just commit and just go and do it, you know? Instead of planning and just getting all messed up in all of that. And then you never even start, you know? You're always in the planning phase. And so that's how I am. I usually tend to just plan out a lot of things and need to make sure everything's perfect before I attempt something. And that has always been like a bad trait of mine, I feel like. Um, and changing this up has made a big difference, you know, like this shed. Uh, if you guys saw my last video, I said that I wasn't sure when I'm going to build this shed. And then look at me now, like this week, I've got all of the wood that I need and I'm going to actually start doing it. Um, and I know I don't have all the stuff that I need to build this bed, like this shed. Um, and I don't know if I'll be able to get it done right away, you know, or how fast I'm going to get it done. But I just want to get started so then I can just kind of figure things out as I go, you know. Um, it's sort of like the YouTube channel, right? Um, like you commit to making the YouTube video first before you even make any plans. So there are some plans, but I don't go into a lot of detail, you know. I have friends that want to make a YouTube video or a YouTube channel, and they're always in the planning phase. You know, they haven't even started. And 
I just want to get started, you know, I just want to get it done first or, or just start, you know, and then eventually figure things out as I go along. So as far as my other projects, like my, um, my pottery and stuff, I'm still working on that. Uh, I'll try to work on it on the side as I'm doing this. Um, but for, for the next couple of videos or next couple of weeks, I'm probably going to be working on this shed. Um, I'm going to try my best to get it done or get little bits of it done throughout the week. And so that way I can uh, move on to something else. But, let's get started. I usually don't ever let Raven get this dirty, but I want her to be comfortable, so she's out here having fun in the dirt. Yeah, you just gotta let dogs be dogs sometimes. Sometimes it's just a pain that I have to like, bathe her and all of that though, but yeah, she'll have fun. Bar goes through. That's good. So it started raining and it poured like crazy for a while, but it's died off now. I don't know if this is okay. 
So all of my wood is wet now. Is that all right? I, I asked uh, a few people and they said that it's all right. But this was kiln dried two by fours. So they're now wet. <laughs> and I'm not sure about this anymore because I put the garden fabric over it so that way it could deter the plants and weeds and stuff from growing. But if there's water in this, and I'm gonna put my floor frame on top of it, and then I'm gonna put plywood pieces on top also. So it's gonna cover this up. I don't know if that's gonna cause mold growth or anything because this is wet now. I'll um, do some research or ask around. <laughs> So I got some screws and so I'm gonna go ahead and screw all this in. I already cut all these pieces um, three inches down uh, so that way when I piece it, everything together like this um, it'll be exactly eight by eight. All right so I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm exhausted um, and Mosquitoes are just going crazy right now, so I'm being eaten alive. <laughs> so I'm just gonna call it a day. Uh, I was able to get in a screw, two screws here, and then two screws there. Um, I'm just gonna work on all of the rest uh, tomorrow when I have time. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna have to buy sheathing soon also, like plywood sheathing. Uh, for the floor, the sides, and the roof. But uh, yeah, I uh, want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you guys next week, and hopefully, I'll get more done by then. All right, all right. Take care.